Hey, it's what's his name? Hi hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Replay The Simpsons Game. In the last episode, we took on the level Grand Theft Scratchy, and I hope since then you've been listening to That's What Friends Are For on repeat. You have, right? Good. Alright, good. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to meet our creator with the level 5 characters in search of an author. We're nearly at the end, folks. This is the penultimate story mission. Yeah, you said that before, Frank. Anyway, let's get started. Let's insert the key cards and get on with saving Springfield. So we've got four super lame key cards. What now? Nice work, video game guy. Oh, but before that, we get another cliche key card. Newsflash: a key card is really a key. And how many points did you get? Video games don't have points anymore. No points? How do you know you're doing good in the game? Well, you make progress through the objectives of the game. Like here, we collected the four key cards. Four points? That's a pretty sucky score. I got eight million on a centipede machine and a Pizza Hut once. But four? Pathetic. Look, how many lives did it take you to get these cards? Lives? What do you mean? I mean, I died a lot. And I mean a lot, but it's not like I have limited number of lives. Infinite lives? Then how is a game even hard? What's the point if you can just play forever? The world I grew up in is gone. Look, Cyber Chums, we need to use the keys to get into that mansion and talk to this creator, wacko. Our town is being blown up as we speak, so let's do this thing. In these video games, levels get easier as you go along, right? Right? That's right, Dad. They sure do. Let's go. Go get them, guys. Get your initials at the top of that high score screen. Yeah! Bad chance, four points. <laughs> this is it. The home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Stay ahead of you, boy. <laughs> so they won a war. Well, then it's a war they'll get. Violet, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groaning. It's graining. Are you sure? No. Alrighty then, yeah, here we start the level with a cameo by none other than the man himself, Matt Groening. Yeah, this game gets very, very meta towards the end here. And we're starting off with also an army of bluehead lawyers coming towards us, firing their finely sharpened pencils at us, which actually do a fair amount of damage, so I've got to be careful. Homer will probably die quite a fair bit when we're not playing as him. In fact, we're almost dead now. Oh my god. Um, this level is actually really different to the PS2 one I remember playing because it's a lot shorter for starters um, and a bit easier, I'd say. But I say that now, uh, I'm going to get the Let's Play curse, you watch. Uh, let's get on with some collectibles first though. I see one up there for Bar and actually one up there for Homer. Uh, oh crap, we're both nearly dead. Oh god. Let's do some... Oh! Grip! Hook! Alright, good. Is Homer down? Yep, Homer's down. I'm gonna try and grab his and not die. Okay, good. Alright, brilliant. I think there might be another one for Bar. No, actually. It's just Homer. Now, this is something I might have only just realised. Very, very late. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> When we nearly reached the end of the game, I didn't know, I kind of want Homer to die again to test, but you can revive your other character um, instead of just waiting for their life to go back up. In fact, let's let's die purposely as Bart just to test. No, Homer, please don't sacrifice yourself for your son. Yep, yep. Good, come on, Bart. Okay, good. If I go over to Bart, 
I know I'm the first to say it. Oh I my goodness. I can give him life and make him regen faster. Oh god, now Homer's down. The Let's Play curse has struck. Um, I didn't realise that this whole time. That must have been referenced right at the beginning of the game and I've just forgot. I'm sure some of you guys have picked up on it and are judging me for never having done that before. Alright, Homer's up. We need to get some Homer collectibles. There's a bottle cap at the top of this pile of sweet, sweet gold. Which I just missed. We missed again. And we're down! <laughs> Oh, I cursed myself. Oh, I wrecked it. Why did I say that? Why? Uh, let's try it from this. Oh, there's a gummy Venus to Milo there. Oh, we don't even need to do the smash. We can just uh, roll up. We do need to Homer smash up this one, though. I saw your there we go. That gets us up to here to grab this bottle cap. And I think that's it for this little opening area. Who is the creator? I like to think it's the guy who created us. I guess we should get rid of the limos. That's the objective. Let's just gummy homer them. Nice and quick. Is that that, is that, that character's name? Felix something. I thought he was just called Blue Haired Blue Haired Lawyer. Oh wow, there's so many. I'm almost dead again. Let's get away from him. Oh no! Get away! Stop it! Oh, I take it back. Maybe this level is quite hard. Because I just want to get away from. They're still shooting at me. I wanted to get away from him up to this little part of the level because it's uh, a little bit of a Simon Says puzzle. Let's turn back to normal. Oh, I forgot what it was. Can you tell what the tune is? Hey, get away. You couldn't even do entertainment law. You law talking guys have gone too far. Okay, you, you, listen game, I'm trying to pay attention to the puzzle here, stop talking over it. And that, wait, let's start that one again. Okay. Yay, there we go. And there's the copyright strike, brilliant. Uh, okay, I think that's it. I just wanted to go back and quickly look at this statue, which might have been a mistake because I might die. Ah, oh, look at the family there. Alright, now I need to get away. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's get in the door. Ah. <sighs> I bet your creator's like a thousand foot Godzilla with big boobs and he breathes fire snot. Think again. Your creator is TV's most beloved animation visionary. Seth McFarlane? Ah! Oh, say hello to my little friend. Aw, oh, snap! <laughs> Do that to me, Terry! Yeah, that's right, even more cameos! Real original. And an evil genius too. Another cliche. Every single one a ripoff of Lex Luthor. I'm not too sure about that, but um, yeah, we've got Bender and Zoidberg after us Prepare now. To be destroyed by my warriors of the future. Check out this creepy artwork. <laughs> um, are they coming over? I thought they were going to come and attack me. I guess they're just chilling over there. Oh wait, no, there's a few Benders. Oh god, Zoidberg. Zoidberg's here. Look at him. Oh god, <laughs> creepy jumping. Um, Alright, whilst he's beating up Bar, I'm going to go get some of Homer's collectibles. There's a bottle cap down here. I love standing still. I can think about pastries. That weird thing I saw once. It's called favorite Dr. Zoidberg. The, the floor just turned into molten gold. And to be honest, that molten gold looks about as good as the gold you see in the last Hobbit film. <laughs> CGI wise. 
Anyway, I think I can make this jump. Yeah, easy peasy. Three of five. I think that's good. There's one up there for Homer. Destroy all the piles of money. There's one up here. Oh, oh crap, hang on. Yeah, so this whole level is very different. I remember in the PS2 version, you had to deal with like rotating mirrors around and reflecting stuff, and there was loads of big pencil traps, and it's a lot shorter now. It's basically just this one room, and that's it. Where is Homer's? Is it Homer's last? Yeah, Homer's last one. He is. Oh, I know where it is. Oh no, not the gold. Actually, what happens? Well, obviously we die, I just wondered. No, it's exactly the same as the other liquids. I think it's over here behind this pile of money. It was nice of Matt Groening to, um, to have a little cameo. Very weird still, but, but nice. He's even got a health bar, look at him. There we go. Congratulations, you have won Special Reserve Duff Trophy. The best of the best, perhaps. Your money. Thank you. Um, but to do with Matt Groening, got to say, I like how it, he kind of made fun of his last name in that little cutscene, you know, Groening, spelled like Groening, but pronounced Groening, because it's something that really bothers me. Um, and whenever I've had conversations with people about Simpsons, and, you know, they know I'm a Simpsons fan, but they might every now and then mention him and say Groening, and I have to bite my tongue and and not correct them because otherwise I seem like a massive fat Simpsons nerd. I don't want to be the one that's like, eh, actually it's pronounced graining. <laughs> you know? But even one time I remember I was watching something on, I think it was BBC News. And BBC News got it wrong and they said groaning. That's just awful. I can't make this jump. Why did I try and do that for? That was silly of me. So Bart's last th three or four? How many have we got left for Bart? Three are all in this room, I think. Um, let's go grab this one in the middle of the, the gold. Okay, grab that one. Can you? Does this mean that you can kind of count this as a future armor game as well? Because um, there's only been one sim uh, future armor game. Well, two, I guess. So there's one I let's played, obviously the PS2, Xbox One, which uh, you know it was all right. Weirdly, not many people seem to know about that game. I always see loads of videos of people playing it, realizing or, or saying like, "Oh, I never realized this was a game. It went completely under the radar." But I always knew it was a thing when I was younger. I guess I was just a uh, big enough nerd as a kid to want to play it. But um, yeah, I guess they have that one. And they also have a really awful mobile game, much like uh, The Simpsons Tapped Out, called Futurama World of Tomorrow, I think it is. I tried giving it a play a year or, year or so ago. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good at all. It's just like Tapped Out and uh, Family Guy Quest for Stuff. Same thing, you got to wait loads of time and makes you purchase in-game currency first. and yeah, just a load of rubbish, so, oi, excuse me, didn't bother with that. But I guess you can now count this as a sort of future armor game. No, 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 please, oh, bugger, I thought that'd be enough. Who's that a statue of? Oh my god, it's Patty or Selma, I should really know the difference by now. Exposing a hairy thigh. Well, a hairy leg. With a fag in her mouth. Lovely. Or oh, cigarette, sorry, for Americans. <laughs> Is that. Maybe that's the other one. No, they're both the same. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. I need to. Stop rushing like I just did again. Oh my goodness, Joe, you've got to time this better. We need to get on that hovering chandelier so we can glide a bit more um, onto the vines on this wall over there. 
Bart Sars Collectible was on top of that uh, wardrobe. Okay, so give it time. Wait till it's at this lowest point. And probably there's good enough. Okay, sweet. Homer can just <laughs> be down there sorting out the Zoidbergs. Oh god. Homer's gonna die. Yep, he's down. The gang of Zoidbergs got him. Right, that should be good enough. Let's try that. I really like this music as well for this level. It's very sort of bondish with the trumpet. Oh, you are kidding me! Oh, I really did curse myself. Alright, here we go. No more messing around. Let's get this stupid collectible. Ha ha! Congratulations, you have won. Krusty Clown Face Trophy. <laughs> these really are the best collectibles. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. The detail in these compared to the others is just... It's not even comparable. Like, we've got a nice little scar face homage there. Love it. I just wish they were bigger so you could actually see the detail. Alright then, so that's all the collectibles sorted for this level. Um, and the cliche, I guess the only thing left to do now is... Well, first of all, i tell you what I want to do. I want to quickly go down to this end of the... Whoops. This end of the map. Just to show off a little bit of detail that I think it's kind of cool. We have this nice little uh, statue of the, the bullies there. The world dude. But I like the artwork at the back, which Bart said earlier was really creepy looking. But we have a nice Starry Night-esque picture of the power plant. Maybe we could say it's the radiation coming from the <laughs> Sector 7G that's causing that. But nice uh, Van Gogh bit there. We have the Mona Lisa with a very disturbed looking Marge. She looks kind of startled and also a bit stretched and fat. Not quite sure that's in the, the right aspect ratio. <laughs> Uh, that picture. We have this one, which you now I consider myself. Uh, I like art, and I like looking at art, but I have no clue what this is meant to be a reference to. Which artist and which painting? Maybe you guys can tell me. But nice one of Marge again, and finally one of Homer as the scream, Edvard Munch. Although I think I. Oh no. There I was, appreciating art, and the game just throws it back at me. No, I cannot enjoy art. I have to die. Well, never mind, we've got the collectibles, so it doesn't really matter. I was going to say, I actually have a poster of this um, this picture, the one with Homer as the scream. A friend got it for me uh, as a Christmas or a birthday gift, and I haven't put it up yet, and that was about eight years ago. <laughs> it's still in the tube. I'm such a terrible friend. All right, let's get on with this. Um, we need to go and hit Matt Groening as Homer Ball. We haven't really seen much of Bender. He doesn't really follow you as much as Zoidberg. All right, we need to go. We need to go. There we go. So you sort of hit the mirror bits. I don't know who that is, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so he's got to hit Matt Groening, or at least, not even necessarily hit, just block him. Four times. Please grab one, Bart, there we go. Oh yeah, there we are, and let's just close him off. Get away from these guys. So there are some pencils. I mentioned about pencils being in the PS2 version. There's a few pencils here. But, yeah, you just have to sort of time it so you don't whack into them. Like so. And now he's up there. Last one. Let's get up somewhere, shall we? Let's get up here. And then up there. And we might be able to make this jump now. I think we probably can. 
Oh, looking good, looking good. Nailed it. Oh yeah, there's one more. I don't know why he would choose to have this ramp thing installed in the middle of his mansion. You tell me. I guess why would you have the pencils or or the benders and the uh, uh, yeah, whatever. We've got a homer ball up this ramp for the finishing blow. Out the way, future armor. <laughs> Bart, Dad, you just vanquished your own creator. The philosophical implications would make Eugene Ionesco's head spin. Hmm, you make a provocative point, Lisa. And furthermore, kick him! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh. Uh, stop kicking the man who doodled you! It isn't nice! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you for saving me, ma'am. I'm enduring grateful. Mr. Graining, how could you have betrayed us, the fruits of your creative loins, and sold us out to all these awful video games where we endlessly die and lose health and jump and jump and jump? I swear I didn't know they'd be awful, Lisa. If I'd known, I only would have slapped your faces on mugs, t-shirts, candy, lunchboxes, board games, gum, novelty flying discs, and fluffy, fluffy beach towels. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, video game engine self-destruct button. So long, suckers. <laughs> Hey, look at that, 18 minutes, 24, with a target time of 7 minutes and 10 seconds. That's oddly specific. Anyway, um, if we have a look, we've got all of the collectibles and all of the trophies. Now, weirdly, I'm going to have to end the episode here on this screen, because it goes straight on to the last level of the game. Uh, there's no hub in between, so I guess an awkward ending for today. Um, next time, we'll finish the game, or at least the story mode. We still have a few more things to look at, like some extras and... The collectibles in Springfield, but yeah, next time we're gonna go speak to God Himself. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.